You can be whatever you believe. Strive and you shall achieve. This is JFK's way. Thank all of you out there for watching, man. Thank everybody for tuning in. First and foremost, I really, really appreciate you guys. Small numbers equal up to large numbers. And thank you guys for viewing. But first and foremost, man, I want to jump straight into this. Today, I'm showing you guys what we call a grail. If you guys do not know the term grail, just look it up. If you're not familiar with it, what a grail is. Uh, a lot of people live their entire life and don't even get to come near a single grail, let alone have one or be near one, let alone hold one in their possession. So today, I'm going to show you guys what we call in the comic realm, a comic book grail. You want to come tell them what we got going on today? We're going to show you some new comic books that my dad got in the mail. Right. You want to hand me the package? Now, this book right here, man, uh, I got some history with this as well. Uh, thank you, kiddo. I've seen this book. Uh, I've had chances to put my hands on this book and not just put my hands on it, but to purchase it. And the crazy thing is I skipped out on it. And then later down the road, the book is going for astronomical numbers. Uh, any collector that's been around, if you've been around 10, 12 years, 30, however many years you've been around, if you're not a new kid on the block, you've, you've been around for some of these moments, I'm sure, in your lifetime where you regrettably pick up something or you regrettably leave something so this right now uh i also gotta give a shout out first of all to my man gary gary attaway thank you so much for making this possible he actually worked closely with the comic book artist so he gets his hands on a lot of stuff a lot of us people you know just out here in the wild don't get to put our hands on so he got his hands on a few of these from what i was told and of course i'm sure he kept kept one for himself it's only right right so but right now, like I said, this book right here, there's a few books actually in here. Uh, we went back and forth for a while. Again, we're, you know, we're, we're, we're comic comrades, man. So I uh, pitched the idea to him. He actually showed us the cover that was being worked on. And actually, from what I can see right here, um, he actually sent me some of these. Now, we, I've actually had a few of these in my possession. None of these are super, super good enough for me to grade. Hopefully, these ones will be. But I gave him an idea. Uh, I sent him something, you know, me being Mr. Negative. I collect negative variants and just, you know, me loving the character, Mr. Negative. Uh, I actually sent him an idea and they actually Marvel approved it. So um, I wasn't credited or anything in that, but I was happy to see that it come to life. So I want to thank him first and foremost also for sending me multiple copies of the book. Um, I have so much tape. So much tape because we got to make sure it's protected. Mm -hmm. That's what he's supposed to do. He said, he's here, my son. He said, why is there so much tape? It's supposed to be tape on. Venom. But first and foremost, there she is, ladies and gentlemen. My son just gave it away, but boom. Now this right here, if you guys cannot see, hopefully you can, this right here is gold hollow foil. And when I say it's hollow foil, like hollow, hopefully you guys can see that. It's like rainbowish in the background, like alters and shades as far as the webs goes. Now the regular version, it's, it's also hollow foil, but it's red. It's just red foil, so everything in the background is all red. Uh, the black, there's a black era one as well. Now the black era and the red one are actually the same, but the era came from the red foil not going on. These, I believe, were like one per store or whatever. And again, this was back in 1992. So grill status. This is a ratio pretty much before ratios were big in books. Here, you want to hold it and show it to me? Yeah, speak, speaking of which, now this book is so highly, highly sought after, not just because it's gold, but turn it over, show it back because of the back. Now what you're seeing right now is Eddie Brock and of course the symbiote going through like a symbiosis phase right now. Now this right here, this is iconic, man, especially as a kid. Uh, there was also a comic book here. There was a comic book uh, card series that they of course used called Venom Flows. And on the back of every Venom Flows, you saw this. So of course, you know, collecting comics, collecting cards as a kid, that's why I wanted this. I was like, man, it's on the back of a book? Like, you know, if initially I had no idea. And then when I heard that it was, I was like, what? So I spent years literally wanting this book. Uh, again, coming across it here and there. Uh, it's not in the condition I want or the price tag was just way too high. or I just, Maybe I just didn't have it at the time. But uh, this right here, I will not be getting this graded. I'm just happy enough to own this one. Uh, maybe one day I'll own, you know, maybe two or three of these. But again, just moments like this I like to share with my son because, again, grails, man. How many people get to hold grails, you know what I mean, throughout the comic realm and comic industry? So you don't get to see these too, too often. Uh... This is Venom Book One. There you go. Venom Issue One, the first book, the first time they gave him his own series. So and actually, if you look down here at the bottom, you see Spider-Man. He's like, oh, man. So, but yeah, man, 
Now, this next book, this, this, I'm going to show you guys this and I'm going to get out of here. This book was uh, a moment for me. This is the very first time I gave somebody my idea. Uh, and it, it's happened to me a few times, but the idea was actually used. So I gave my man Gary an idea. Like I said, he worked closely with a comic book artist. And the artist being this man right here, Greg Horn. Now, I sent him the pitch. Again, Mr. Negative. Me loving Mr. Negative. Me, you know, loving the character, loving what he does and what he represents. And... If you guys don't know who Mr. Negative is, look into it. But I collect negative variants. So I said, yo, that would be great if there was like a horror movie edition. Or like, you know, a, a negative variant for this. Like the HV, you know what I'm saying? The, the Halloween variant or the, or, the, or the negative variant for it. So I took took the picture, screenshotted it, asked him if I could screenshot it, saved it, did a negative version for it, and boom. So that's all I got for you guys today, man. Thank you guys for joining me. And my guest host, who's actually not here right now anymore, uh, he ran off, of course, to go play with his toys. But thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for enjoying the content, seeing some of the stuff that I'm into. Me, Mr. JFK himself. So peace and love. Thank you guys once again. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. That, that, that can't be. That, that, that can't be.